guys. So today is May 4th. It's the first day that we're allowed to be out without having to tell the government where we're, where we're going. And also some shops are allowed to be open. Although, I've come down to make a long walk and some shops are not open yet. Um, I don't know if they just weren't prepared or if they're still waiting it out. There are definitely a lot more people out. It's like super, um, super but much busier than it has been in the last couple of weeks obviously so it's very interesting to see my apartment and this is what it normally looks like like traffic and cars and, yeah we're getting back to normal very quickly all right I've gone further than i have in a while except for when i went to the doctor but i'm in a completely different area now down on Ermu Street, which is like one of the big shopping streets here. Um, and the Acropolis is over on my left, and I'm gonna hit that here in about five minutes. A lot less people. More cars, but a lot less people. I think maybe, maybe this is the strangest sight, walking down to Monasteraki and not a single one of these restaurants has chairs outside. <laughs> this place in the summer is like a giant traffic jam of people and chairs of people eating in these restaurants. It's very weird. And a car just dropped past me, which never happens, ever. <laughs> Not as empty as I thought it would be. Pretty... This is pretty empty for Monasteraki though, so we'll see. I'm gonna walk towards the Acropolis area now. Walking over to the Acropolis. It's still not open. The historic sites don't open again until the 18th. So even though I can walk to it, I can't walk up to it. Uh, which is fine. Because of my vertigo still being around. I'm not really ready to hike up the Acropolis Hill. It's a lot steeper than the uh, hill I live on even. So... Pretty quiet. There are a lot more people out walking around down here than over in my neighborhood, probably because it's a little bit easier to be separated from people. And there are definitely way more cars than there have been during the whole lockdown. So I don't know where people are. Well, I know that some places are, even though um, some places are still allowing people to work from home, some places um, people are going back to work. So they're probably going to work or to open up their stores. Somebody playing. Kind of amazing how quickly you get used to living that way. Oh, I found a kitty. Baby, aren't you? Oh, I hope the kitties have been okay during all this. I know that in my neighborhood, people have been still, still feeding them, but you know, this isn't so much a residential area, so. They're always so sweet too. And she's soft. Kind of dirty, but you're soft. Well, clearly maintenance hasn't been happening while uh, everything's been closed because the uh, grass weeds haven't been cut. It's very pretty though. All right, so today is Tuesday, May 5th. It's even busier than it was before. And a lot more people are out today. I just went into a bookstore to look at a printer and there were more people in there, I think, than yesterday. All the shops are getting ready to open. It's about 74, 75 degrees, so I broke out my summer dress because, well, I'm tired of wearing my same clothes every day. <laughs> Not like I can go shopping. So, I'm in a dress, getting some vitamin D today. This is the interesting part, is like everybody didn't go to the bank while they, uh, everything was closed, so there's like lines for the bank everywhere. Yesterday, same thing. Same bank, same line. I think it's longer today, actually. Decided to come to the park that's near my apartment and read my new book that came that I ordered when we couldn't go to bookstores, but hey, it's here now. And it's so nice out. It's beautiful. 
now that I can actually sit in one place, you know, before we could come out, but we really weren't supposed to like sit. People were, um, but I really didn't want to break any rules. So I'm finally sitting outside. Hello everyone. It is Wednesday, May 6th, and day three of not being in lockdown anymore. I'm just walking back from my lawyer's office for my residence permit. Uh, so the office is going to open after the 15th to make appointments. So we're trying to get prepared so that we can hopefully get an appointment before my visa expires, which is in August. And obviously there's lots more traffic than there was because I'm having to pause to talk to you. And I wasn't before. Some cars are quieter than others though. I'm trying to get out of the street too. So there's at least some progress on that and hopefully at the end of May and June, I'll have maybe more of an update on that for you guys. I'm not sure how much I'll have to update, so I may wait until the appointment, which may be in July because everything is so delayed with the virus because they just shut all the offices down here. Like almost all the government offices were closed except for like emergency things. So anyway, but at least things are moving along and it doesn't look like I'll be going anywhere anyway because nobody's going anywhere. So there's really no rush for me to get um, the permit because once, once I apply for the permit, I can only go home to the US and stay here in Greece. So and that's all I'll really be doing at this point anyway. All right, guys, I'm out and I'm back on my big Sony camera instead of my phone. And I am walking down to Monastiraki to uh, go meet a friend. Because you can do that now. We're not going to do anything, but we're gonna walk. So. A little less traffic today than it was before. I'm surprised. down Urmu now. I'll probably show you what it looks like. It's about almost seven o'clock in the evening. Hello everybody. It's Friday, May 8th, I believe. Um, I'm sitting in a different park today. Platia. Uh, forget it, I can't say it. <laughs> um, it's a square, I, it's where I showed you the ruins before over there. Um, but it's got a playground and the other day I came down here um, when it was like a holiday and it was packed full of people so I kind of turned around and left so today is a lot less empty um, I have just come from the street market I didn't buy any food today I just bought some beautiful flowers um, I have tons of food at home so I don't really need anything and I'm really looking forward to this weekend this first weekend that we've had after the lockdown has been lifted, so um, I've got lots of plans. Of course, one of those things is to do laundry because I've been hand washing everything during this lockdown. I haven't gone to the laundromat. I really don't want to go because I don't feel like everybody's being super cautious, but it's to the point now that like I've got to do like sheets and towels. So I'm going to take the, I have so much laundry. It's like ridiculous. Um, so either tomorrow or Sunday, I'm going to go and do a ton of laundry and just get it all done. So maybe I don't have to go back again for a while. Uh, fortunately, like it's a place where they leave the door open all the time. They have hand sanitizer. Um, and my plan is to wear my mask when I'm inside the store. And then I may walk around. The Normally I stay with my laundry, but I may walk around so that way I'm not inside, especially if there are lots of people in there. If there's no one else in there, then I might just stay. We'll see what happens. Excuse me while I have coffee. And then I plan on do, walking around and doing some filming for you and doing some photography for myself um, because things are still a little bit, um, well, they were empty. And then last night I went out to meet someone and it was packed. 
So it may not be empty, but um, we'll see what happens. Uh, but I'd still kind of like to get an idea of what the first weekend's gonna feel like. It's still like, still restaurants and bars are not open, so, but people have gotten in trouble because they have been out in like squares like this. Um, and there's been a bar that's given takeaway and but people aren't literally leaving, they're like hanging out and something like 400 people were in the square. <laughs> and last night when I was down by the Acropolis, it was really crowded and it made me kind of nervous. So, you know, I wasn't as nervous before when we were in lockdown because there were so few people out, but now there are people out everywhere. So it, that's what makes me nervous. And not that I'm saying that I should be the only one allowed to go out. It just makes me be more cautious. Uh, so anyway, um, but it's so nice. It's so nice outside. I'm in a dress again. It's not as warm as it was the other day, but it feels amazing. I'm sitting like right in the sun, as you can probably see. So... I'm ready for summer and I'm ready for them to decide when we're going to be able to go to the islands because I really would like to get out of Athens for a long weekend and go see my friends in Naxos. Although I don't know what the hotel situation is going to be like. So um, there is a hotel open in Naxos, but um, I'm not sure if it's like affordable. So we'll see. Uh, anyway, that's the update for now. All right, I'm at the laundromat doing laundry and they don't want more than two people inside, which is kind of difficult since there are like 20 washing machines. Anyway, but I haven't been here in two months and I'm gonna have to make a second trip. This isn't gonna be the only one. Um, but I just thought I'd show you the street I'm on. Um, some places are, um, they have takeaway so you can kind of see across the street people standing outside for that. Anyway, pretty empty in front of Parliament. Pretty empty for a Saturday. And I'm walking down past the National Gardens, headed towards the Acropolis, but not through like Syntagma and Ermu. I'm going down to the other side. Uh, I need a change of pace for my walk. So this is what I'm doing, and it's really nice outside. I don't think I've ever seen the gates to the Acropolis Museum be closed like this before. Very surreal. Completely empty. What I really like is that I can walk around down here, and there are no chairs out, there are no people. I can take pictures wherever I want. It's been great. I mean, there are some people, but not like before. Thank you. 